Hello everyone, this is Christy. Today I'm going to show you how to make this mini album. And for this mini album, I made five pages using a laminator machine. And also I'm going to show you how I made this spine that is a see-through and I bind it with these discs right here. Then, um, as you can see, it's very simple on, on the front and on the back. And then when you open, I'm going to show you how to make this decoration using the laminating pouches. And this is the first page. This is a shaker page. And you can put anything inside, an embellishment or just um, this sequence or something to make the shaker. And that would be very nice to cover the first picture. These pages are very simple. They just have mats and for each page I made a pocket and you can have two sides right here for pictures and then on each page you have two mats and all of the pages are the same but these are different and you can use these pockets for journals, planners, or for mini albums like I'm making and you can use different kinds of binding you can use a ring binder like this or you can use the cinch see as you can see right here in this pocket I made the opening right here so you can put small things and grab them very easily and you can see what you have in that pocket page See, then the, these are just regular pages. Here is another one. And this one is a top loading. The opening is right here and you can put many things inside. And those are see-through see as well. Then right here, here is another page and this one has double pocket. And we are going to make that and then you can uh, add a mat like this that opens and i use my project life cards see for this and you can just put pictures or anything that you want if you like journaling you can maybe journal and put things in there see it's very nice um then right here more pages for pictures and here is another page that has the opening right here and you can add your pictures or documents or anything in there and at the end i made a pocket and for this pocket i added this small pocket using the laminating pouch and this one is decorated and you can put anything as small, small tags or small mats or pictures. And you can see through what you have. And then this one opens and you can put a large mat or anything that you want to save in there. I just cut a large mat and I added these um, Project Life cards and Velcro up here. And that's it. Stay with me and I'm going to show you now how to make the uh, pocket pages using the laminating pouches and then we're going to continue with the mini album and at the end we're going to finish with the cover. We are going to start with this page that has the top loading opening right here and for that we will need half of an inch of cardstock and I cut this one at half of an inch by eight and a half and I'm going to use one laminating pouch and this one is folded so you need to cut on the folded side and the measurement of my page is five and a quarter by eight and a quarter and I'm going to cut exactly like the size of my page I have the size 
Now this page is five and a quarter by eight and a quarter. And I'm going to put this one inside right here. And now I'm going to measure from this to the end of the paper. You are going to measure all the way to one quarter of an inch right here. And now it's going to be like about four and three eighths. I'm, I need to cut that right here. And first I need to cut that the width which is four and three eighths. So it's one eighth of an inch less than four and a half. You are going to put on top and see, okay, that you have one quarter of an inch less right here and you need to leave the same space at the bottom then you need to cut up here so you can use your ruler it's going to be like about eight inches so i need to cut at eight inches Now that I have the exact measurement, can you see right here is exactly the same. And right here you have one quarter of an inch on each side, see the bottom and on the side. And we are going to open this one right here. Now you're going to open this one and you are going to put against of each other like this so you have the glossy side in the inside and the matte side is on the front and back and we are going to position this one right here leaving the one quarter of an inch at the bottom and on the side Can you see exactly? Now you're going to close. Then you just pass it through the laminator machine like this. Your pocket is ready. You just need to cut the excess right here. And that's it. You have the opening right here. See? And you can use any kind of binding on the side. Now for the next page, we are going to make the one that opens on the side. And we're going to use, again, one of these pouch and another piece of cardstock that is um, half of an inch and the length of your height. And we are going to do the same. We have to find, okay, this is the opening. So we need to cut on this side and we are need to cut exactly the size of the page, which is going to be five and a quarter by eight and a quarter. Once I have this one ready, I'm going to put the paper in the inside. And we're going to close. Now with this one, we're going to make the opening on the side. So right here, this part had to be all the way to the edge and now that we have right here this side the straight we are going to cut this one one quarter of an inch less here and one quarter of an inch here 
so we are going to cut at seven and three quarters now i have this piece at seven and three quarters can you see it's going to be exactly one quarter of an inch on top and at the bottom and this one has to be straight up here i'm going to open this now we open this one right here and remember the glossy side has to be in the center and the matte side in the front and back put it straight and then you're going to put it on top but make sure this one is straight aligned with the edge see once you see it's aligned then you can close this one and now this one is ready to pass it through the machine and i just need to cut up here now it opens on the side and this page is ready see same as this one now we are going to make this one with two pockets and for that we're going to cut another pouch at okay this is the opening at five and a quarter by eight and a quarter now this is my page and I'm going to put another piece of cardstock in the center. If you don't put a cardstock, chances are that when you put this one in the laminator machine, it's going to roll inside and it's going to be a jam okay so you need to put a little piece of paper on the top it also reinforces the, the binding now we are going to cut this one for the pockets right here and we have right here the height is eight and one quarter and we need to take three quarters of an inch because we need one in the center so my measurement uh, for this one has to be at seven and a half and right here is going to be at about four and five eighths a little more than four and a half so we need to cut first right here the side then we are going to cut at seven and a half now we have to cut in half and half of seven and a half will be three and three quarters so we need to cut at three and three quarters and we have equal side pockets so we open and we are going to place this with the edge right here and leave one quarter of an inch on top and for the other one to the bottom remember that this part you have to switch and the glossy side is in the inside then you are going to place it up here and this one just need to open again switch glossy side in the inside once you have them in place you are going to close this one now this one is ready to pass through the machine and now you have the opening 
right here and right here see same as this one the next one is this pocket page and as you can see it looks like this you have a pocket up here with the opening up here and you can put large things but also small ones and it's very convenient to grab them see you can put your hand and take the small things as well and now for this pocket we are going to make it different okay we are going to cut instead of cutting can you see this side right here that has the folding side instead of cutting there we're going to cut on this edge the size of the page so the folding side is right here and this one is open so we're going to cut at five and a quarter by eight and one quarter Now we are going to separate them, see, like this. And we are going to put one of these papers on the side. Now with this side, we are going to cut right here, one quarter of an inch less, just right here at the bottom. So that will be at eight. Now I have the um, page and this one will cover right here, this white paper. And as you can see, it has one quarter of an inch less at the bottom. Now for the pocket, we are going to cut this one at five. Okay. We are going to cut, can you see this one is the folding side? We are going to cut this one at five right here. And as you can see, I'm going to put all the way to the bottom and I'm going to cut right here at five and a quarter. See, that will be the size of the pocket. But now, because we need this one to stick on this part up here, we are going to open, we are going to open this and cut one quarter of an inch here. And I cut, as you can see, like about one quarter of an inch here, and I'm going to finish this part with scissors. I'm going to finish here. As you can see, I already have right here, okay, the one quarter of an inch. And now I'm going to do exactly the same at the bottom. I'm going to cut one quarter of an inch less. And as you can see, you have one quarter of an inch less here and here. And that's only in the bottom part. Now we are going to cut half of an inch on this side. Okay, on the bottom, we are going to cut half of an inch right here. And as you can see, I just cut the half of an inch and I'm going to finish this part with scissors right here. I'm going to finish with scissors. Now this one is ready to pass through the machine. Now, for passing to the machine, because these are not together, they are not folding together, and this one is loose, I'm going to use um, printer paper 
and I'm going to fold it in half and put everything inside so it doesn't move when I when it goes through the machine so I'm going to put it like this and now I'm going to put this one on the top remember to match the edges match the edges right here then you're going to close this one then you're going to close and this one you are going to pass it through the machine this way and when you open you have a pocket you have a pocket with a opening right here in the center see and if you want to make sure it laminated very well um, you can pass it again this way and and it will laminate again on the sides because sometimes when you put paper it's not fully laminated okay and don't ever put like cardstock or a thick paper because the heat is going to be less you have to put like a Xerox paper or parchment paper and now it's done see opening and this is ready and this is another page done for the last one we are going to make a shaker page and for this you have to cut one exact size five and a quarter by eight and a quarter and this one is folded but this one it's going to be the folding side on this side right here and now with the other side this is the folding side right i cut right here one quarter of an inch less here and here so that will be at seven and three quarters and right here i cut at five now we're going to open this one like this and we open this one and we switch glossy side in the center like this and i'm going to put it this way right here all the way now can you see on the folding side it's all the way to the edge now right here when you open you will need two of these papers and we are going to open and we have four sheets of laminating right so we are going to place one on the first one and then Try to make this one a little longer so you can um, have the paper on the sides. Then you're going to place the one that goes on top. Then same in the other side. Okay, in between these two, you're going to put the other paper. And then the last one. And make sure these one are by the edge the papers okay now because we don't want this one to move we just rub and we are going to use the paper again to put them together and we're going to pass it this way okay it's better because the folding side is on this side now as you can see we have the page and as you can see i can open on the sides right here and this one opens all the way so that's why this paper had to be a little bit bigger 
okay so you don't um seal on on these sides and i'm going to pass it again because it was with the paper so i want to make sure that this one won't um open and as you can see it's already done and sealed and now you can put anything that you want for the shaker and then um, you can put tape right here close it and then you can make the holes for the binding and for this one right here I'm going to use my purple sequences and I'm going to put just a little bit of each color And you can see if you like it or you need to put more. I think I'm going to put a little more. And a little more of this. I think it's enough. And I'm going to add a little bit of gold foil these are like confetti but just a little bit because they stick and they look very bright see that's enough and now i'm going to open like this and i'm going to use my half of an inch tape and i'm going to seal this page then i just cut I feel the backing and then I press, cut the excess right here. In this side too. And your shaker page is ready. So beautiful. See? Now I'm going to show you how I decorated this um, laminating pouches with the confetti this is like foil paper it's not like a sequence it's flat it's completely flat and this one sticks very well when you laminate see you need one full page and i have one more of these papers that you need to put okay in order to pass it through the machine and just do it okay because it's important that it needs some paper over there and it doesn't jam then we are going to put a little bit of this confetti okay and this one has some kind of a static so you don't put you don't pour from your jar you just grab with your fingers a little bit and throw it in there Now I think it's enough. Make sure this one, it's not overlap. So you just pass with your finger like this and make sure these are not overlap. And if you see that you have a lot in one place, you can move them. You can wet your finger on a damp um, cloth or a paper towel, but I'm going to use this one. Uh, this one is um, from Dollar Tree and it's silicone. So this one is very useful too, to move this um, stuff. See, so you just move them 
easily with this one. Now you're going to slowly push this paper, okay, from here and press. And when you are done, you just need to pass it through the machine this way. And that's it. This is how it looks. And sometimes it looks like right here, like a ripple. And if you don't like that, you can pass it again. And when you see your page and it has ripples on one side, to fix those ripples, you have to pass it again through this side, okay, the opposite side. And then the ripples will be much less. Now, this one is decorated and you can use it for a pocket or you can use it for a, a divider or you can cut a piece and make the spine of your journal. Now, I'm going to show you how to make a pocket for a gift card. And for that, I'm going to use this um, small pouch and I need one quarter of an inch on each side of the tag and this one right here at the bottom too and i'm going to put up here and leave like the size that i want a quarter of an inch and i need to cut this one at two and three quarters so i need to cut this one at two and three quarters and i'm going to do that here i have the two and three quarters and as you can see my card is it's going to be in the inside and from here I'm going to cut exactly the size of the card and from this I'm going to cut a two and one quarter first now I have the small part and I'm going to switch glossy side inside and I'm going to just open this one and I'm going to place it up here like this so you can so you can see one quarter of an inch all around on these three sides and if you put the card it's going to fit in there and now I'm going to just grab this one put the card down see all the way down and I'm going to cut just right at the end of the card i'm going to cut like that and now i'm going to fold this one and i'm going to cut again see so it has the um so it has the shape of a tag and now I'm going to just open this one, the first part. Can you see you have, this is the glossy side. So I'm going to cut by the line. So this one is going to stick together and I'm going to cut right here straight. And as you can see, if you open, one side is going to be straight and the other side is going to have the shape of the tag. And now you have to put this one glossy side inside 
and you have to put it up here on top of the other one and then close it but before we pass it through the machine I have a die cut that says happy birthday and you can embellish with that you can put some confetti or something and as you can see this is the first part so I'm going to put this happy birthday right here and this is better if you don't want to glue this one on top it looks very nice when you have it now I can put it up here inside and then pass it through the machine And I have up here the pouch and as you can see I need to laminate it again so this one can stick very well and I'm going to pass it again and this is how it looks and as you can see right here you have the pouch you can put a gift card you can put money and you can even make a hole right here and I'm going to make a hole in the center and this is how it looks with an eyelet and ribbon see it's a very nice gift and with this idea if you um, just make the pouch you can make pockets for your stamps or dies if you want to make a few and they, they will look like this and you can get two of out of one uh, pouch a big pouch see so i'm going to show you now very quickly how you can make two of these and this measure the inside measures four and I cut it at five and a half so you can organize your stamps or dies and also with this idea you can customize the size of the pouch that you need if you need a bigger one you can use um, more of these um, laminating pouches and make a different one but I'm going to show you how you can get two pockets out of one of these this one is 11 and a half so we are going to cut at five and three quarters okay just half we put this one here at five and three quarters then and this one is nine inches so we are going to cut at eight Eight. and then we're going to cut at four and we have two equal pouches okay so we are going to open this one Okay, like this then we're going to grab one of these and we are going to switch glossy side inside and we are going to place this one all the way to the back okay on the folding side we leave one quarter of an inch on top and now we do the same with the other one switch glossy side inside and then this one it's going to be one quarter of an inch one quarter of an inch here okay now that you have one quarter of an inch on each side here you should have like about half of an inch and make sure this one is by the edge then you close this one 
and you rub and we are going to use a printer paper to place this one because it needs to have strength and now I'm going to pass it through the machine and here you have you have two pockets and these pouches were sealed a little bit right here so there is no problem you just cut that part to make the opening see just a little bit and then you are going to cut in the center And now you have two pouches that open on top. And you can use them for stamps, dies, embellishments, die cuts, anything. And you can organize your crafts. Now I'm going to show you how to make these pages. And I put eight on this album. And all of them are the same. Now I'm going to show you how I cut it because my page is five and a quarter by eight and a quarter i have to cut first at eight and a quarter so i'm going to cut up here at eight and one quarter and this is going to be for the mat now for this one i have eight and a quarter and now if it's five and a quarter, I need to cut at 10 and a half right here. See? So I'm going to cut at 10 and a half. And now I'm going to score at five and one quarter up here. See? and as you can see it has the folded line and i just fold it in half and on the folded part you are going to bind it with um any kind of binding you want to make and now for the pocket we are going to um close it this part up here and for that i'm using uh, one inch in the folded line right here and I have this tape that is one inch but if you don't have it you can use glue if you want I'm going to use this tape And for the top and bottom, I don't have a half inch tape, so I'm going to use glue and like about half of an inch. And right here, half of an inch. If you want, you can mark and just put your glue. And I'm going to put it like this. So this one can look like this and I'm going to glue my last tab on the side Now I'm going to use this um, tool to make the holes for the discs that I have. And I'm going to put them together. Make sure you are doing on the folded side, okay? You can put that tag if you want so you can see that you have to do this side so you don't make a mistake
in after you are done. You can put all the pages together. And I already did up here, I have the shaker page. And then I already have all the pages. And this page will be the last one. See, you just need to add them like this. See, so you have tabs in all of the pages. So it's easy to remember that you have mats there and also to turn the pages. And each mat is a four by six. So I got six out of one 12 by 12. And it's very easy. You just need to just put some glue around. And then center it. Then I have these um, labels that I'm going to add at the bottom so I can write um, what is my picture about. And that's it. Then I do the same in the other side. And now I have the eight pages and five clear pages. Now for the cover, I cut two pieces of chipboard and these are six by eight and a half. See? And then I cover with the paper. And as you can see, I left one inch all around and I already embellished with the label. So this one can be done very soon. Now I'm going to use one of these um, laminated um, sheets that it's decorated and I'm going to cut this one at eight and one quarter by four and a half so I'm going to use this part up here because it's going to be hidden now that I have this part I'm going to glue this is the back and this is the front so I'm going to glue right here at one inch and a half. On the left side, mark at three quarters of an inch on top and bottom. Then you're going to put the tape above that mark. See, I'm not putting the tape all the way. I'm leaving like about one eighth of an inch right here on each side. And now I'm going to peel this one. And I'm going to glue this part up here. And it had to be straight. That's why I'm going to take this black paper. And I'm going to put it on my grid. And I will put my ruler right here at one inch and a half. So I can place this one straight. And after that, I'm going to leave one inch and three quarters. Okay, one inch and three quarters up here and then glue the rest on the other side. So I'm going to do that. First, I'm going to put that tape on the other side. And I'm using the discs that are one inch and one quarter. So for that measurement, I'm going to just leave one inch and three quarters up here. 
right here. See, I had to put it straight and here I have from here to here one inch and three quarters. So I just have to put this one. So I just have to put this one in a line, a line there, and then just drop it. And I have one inch and three quarters here. This paper is uh, five and three quarters by eight and one quarter. Now this one has the tape and I'm going to place it up here. And I need to put it like one eighth of an inch. I'm going to do it this way. Now for this side, you have to cut a paper that is eight by eight and one quarter. So you will have one eight one inch all around, but for this, you have to score at two and two and three quarters. So you are going to fold this way at two and then at 23 quarters, you're going to fold this way. See, so you have it like this. Then you are going to cut one piece that is eight and one quarter by half of an inch and we are going to glue this one inside right here to make it more strong now i'm going to um put them together right here so this part it's okay you can glue it up here but this part up here is going to be loose right here so when you put it up here this part is going to be with no adhesive see and we are going to punch the holes then you are going to put that tape in all this area and we are going to glue it up here now i have the tape here and i'm going to align on this side and you're going to put this one like this and here you're going to add your album see and this is how it's going to look see this one holds this one right here is the one that holds the album see now for this pocket as you can see it opens like this and it has right here a pocket window And this one is nine and a half by eight. And you're going to score up here at two and a half and at seven. Then you're going to turn and you're going to score half of an inch. So we have the score lines. And now we're going to fold the paper. And then this one. And you're going to cut right here. And right here. And we are going to glue this part just like this so you can close this one right here. 
Now, before we continue, we are going to make an opening right here. And for that, I'm going to trace using this lid. And this lid is about two and a half diameter. So I'm going to put up here in the grid. We're going to trace like a half circle, but it's not half, it's just a little bit. And then we are going to go from here to here. Okay, we are going to continue. Can you see? And then right here. Same. So we have the opening like that. And we are going to cut. And we are going to cut that. And we have this nice opening right here. Now we're going to need more paper. And I'm using two different colors. One small piece that is four and a half by four. And you're going to score at one inch. And you're going to fold this way. And the other piece is four and a half by six and you score at three. Now we're going to glue the pieces for this part. And I'm going to put at the edge right here. And we close this one. close this one right here once we have the envelope we are going to glue this one in the back Just right here. Now this paper we are going to put it inside, but it had to cut just a little bit, okay? Like about one eighth of an inch, so it can be inside. See, I cut one eighth of an inch, and now we are going to put it inside. And we're going to glue this, these two papers. We don't need to glue this one right here, okay? So every time you open and close, this one will move. And it won't um, wrinkle, nothing, okay? So it's going to be fine. And we just need to glue these two pieces right here. Now we are going to put it together. And you can use the same um, lid that you were using and just touch both sides of this corner. And then you can trace. And now I'm going to cut this one. Okay. 
and now we are going to have right here this space and i cut a piece of this decorated um pouch that i laminated and this one is five by six you are going to just leave it at four right here and everything will be covered to the back i'm going to use this tape and i have the tape at four inches now align again this one so it can be straight then and we are going to center it at four inches so right here it's four inches and then you are going to fold this one like if it was paper like paper see now that you did the sides you're going to cut right here you're going to cut right here This way it's easier because it moves a lot. See? Now you can cut an angle if you want. Then we're going to put tape here and fold this one to the top. Then I cut a piece of paper of the same color and this one is half of an inch and I'm going to put right here like a belt so I can see where the pocket begins and then this one I fold it to the back and I just need to cut Just like this. And now you have a pocket and you have this one to guide you where it begins. See? And I'm going to put that tape here. And as you can see, I already put the ribbon here to close. You can use any closure and I'm going to put this one right here and you just have to center it. I'm going to put it up here. Now I'm going to put a velcro and don't put it too tight just try to leave it loose right here See, now you have a pocket and another pocket with window right here. And if you want, you can put up here any decoration. And that's it, your album is ready. And you can also add a mat right here. I have my album done, see? And you can fill with pictures and embellishments if you want. You have plenty of room, see, to fill this album. And just to let you know that you can 
um, reuse this this from all binders too this one is from an old binder and I'm, I just make this mini album see I hope you like these ideas for the mini album um, I like the cover the pages that I made and also um, remember that you can use these pouches for stamps dies die cuts and you, you can organize your embellishments anything that you want and also you can make this gift card holder see so so cute and you can also make a binder and use the pages to store something special for you maybe find ephemera or maybe some embellishments or to organize your die cuts or anything see and let us know in the comments how would you like to use these pages if you're new to my channel please subscribe for more videos like this and to all of you thank you thank you very much for watching my videos have a blessed day everyone bye bye